This week on NSFW, we play Secrets or BS with our good buddy, Owen, J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor. We also play Am I Racist? with our viewers who uh, ask us whether they're racist. It's all coming up this week on SFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 22 for May 5th, 2010, Taliquin Nights. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Oh, talk to him, your face is all fire. <laughs> Oh, God damn, your face is on fire. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. It's go time. You guys, stop the <laughs> Did you not quit? Gentlemen, this is it. You've stumbled into the worst show on the internet. It's NSFW, the new show full of win the new sauce for the Webernets. I am your host, Brian Brushwood, joined by my inimitable co-host, the one, the only, J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young. What is going on, jury? Ah, oh, it, it almost feels like we did this before in the Buck Twins apartment. I'm so <laughs> excited kind of to be doing episode 22 of NSFW. universe, some version of us <laughs> has had this conversation, like we tried to make an episode and it didn't quite take or something. Isn't that the vibe you get? You know, I don't know what's going on. It, it feels so weird. <laughs> all right, first of all, before we let everyone off the hook, we got to thank our, our this episode's special guest, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O-Doctor from odoctor.com. That's O-H-D-O-C-T-A-H.com. How are you, Owen? I'm feeling like love and happiness, and I'm just reaching out, touching your pretty face right now, Brian. And I'm patting <laughs> just you know on the head. Because I can't function. pat you on the head because you got spiky hair. There you go. Let me exactly. touch you. Let me feel it. You can get there real up close and personal and stroke I'm, my pretty, pretty face. I'm so happy so, to see you guys. I'm here's so the happy. important question, Owen. Uh, did you, you didn't watch our botched attempt at our first go round for episode 22, did you? No, but I heard about it on the internet. It was very sad and depressing. <laughs> I thought that my friends would never do that to the internet. But uh, all, the, all the tabloids well, were Well, apparently you don't know us very well, Owen. <laughs> apparently not. Apparently right, not. Right, exactly. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, we just spent the last week out in Los Angeles at the world-famous Magic Castle for this landmark event, Magic versus Science, and, and I got to perform for a week at this legendary place. If you don't know what the Magic oh, Castle yeah. is, Totally Rad Show did a whole segment on it where they got a tour of the entire place. It is legendary and historical, and um, one of the side effects is that we didn't have bandwidth, and so we went scrambling around trying to find the right place to do uh, NSFW. We tried to do it live, like in the middle of the day. We went to someone's apartment where the audio was bad, the bandwidth was insufficient, and we just had a massive, massive breakdown. It is the first time that all the fates conspired to make an unusable episode of NSFW. Does that about sum it up, Justin? Uh, yeah, yeah, besides all of us, well, really, the subtext is that we, we did the Adam Carolla show, like, an hour before, and we were pretty excited that, like, you know, we had done this really big, you know, podcast, and we were going to talk, we talked about the show, and, you know, we were really kind of riding high on that for about a half hour until <laughs> we actually did the show that we talked up so much, and it was just... <laughs> That's the killer part is we went and we did a really good job at the Adam Carolla podcast. Like, to be honest, I want that appearance to be our 22nd episode of NSF. Basically, yeah. We were writing it afterwards. We're like, oh, this is be easy. We'll just swoop in. We'll just talk. Automatic gold will come out of our mouths and, and we'll collect the checks of awesome. And it didn't work out that way at all. It was a very yeah, humbling experience. It, it, was, and, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was rough just, and tumble from the very beginning and, and just... Uh, we, we, I think we had enough to talk about, but us talking and doing it kind of Dignation style felt weird. And like, Justin. we probably shouldn't have kept an eye on the chat room as tight as we did. And anyway, yeah, we saw so uh, Yeah, what's that, up, Owen? I, I actually, I have some inside information, Justin. I think it was actually Brian's fault. I called him that day 
And he was like, oh yeah, I gotta do NSFW tonight. I gotta call Justin. So your boy, I think he slipped up. He had all that stuff on his plate, Justin. He left you hanging. Maybe he never even what? called you. That's maybe what? why he didn't have a prep location. I'm just saying what? you might want to talk to your co-host about this. I mean, what? You remember? I have no idea what's happening. Wait a minute. Remember when, Hold I on. Brian? remember when I called Brian? I called you. We were talking for a little bit. I said, "Oh, what's going on for the show tonight?" You're like, "Oh, it's what? I got a show. I got to call Justin." Oh, I see. Mm. You're, you're claiming my head wasn't in the game, and maybe that was the case. And the reason was was because after we did the Adam Carolla podcast, we had to do a promo for his show. So we decided, kind of on a lark, a little bit of a whim, like, "Hey, you know, it'd be great for this video promo." Is uh, hey, Justin, you want to eat fire? <laughs> well, well hold on, hold on, fire. real quick, real quick preamble. You wanted Adam Carolla to eat fire with you. So yeah. you, Adam you, you offered to teach Adam Carolla how to eat fire, and Adam Carolla said, nah, nah, I'm going to go work on my cars. Because he's Adam Carolla, he's allowed to do that. He's not forced to eat fire on his own you know, premises. Right. So <laughs> I, I filled in, so we would, since we're both on the podcast, we'd both be in the thing. And instead, uh, as people saw in the video and can see on uh, BB... But what was it? Are we at BBpedia.info? Uh, BBliveshow.info on the BBpedia. I'm sure it's already posted in there. Uh, but, but in my defense, the one thing that I said was follow steps A, B, C, and D. By the way, on step D, make sure you keep your mouth closed for three full seconds. Otherwise, when you open your mouth, the torch <laughs> will still be on fire. And uh, yeah. how, how did you do on that, on that point there, Justin? <laughs> well, I think it can only be summed up as one hasty drenched scream of, God damn it, your face is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently when I panicked, I turned into a complete hayseed. I'm like, God damn, your hair's on fire! Your face is ah, on fire! Your face is on fire! At least you didn't slap him. I That boy's face is on fire! If you just okay, slapped well, him in the we... face, like, I was trying to put the fire out. That would have made it out. That would have made my life complete. I would have gave up on the internet. I would have saw everything I needed to see. Well, where we failed last time, we apparently have struck absolute gold because I'm actually midway on a journey to Springfield, Missouri for a show tomorrow afternoon at, I uh, uh, forget the college name, but it's in Springfield, Missouri. And <laughs> I looked on the Google Maps and I just tweeted out, I was like, look, if anyone is in Oklahoma City or Muskogee area and right here in uh, Tahlequah, I'm in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, is a fan of Scam School who opened up his house and allowing me right now in his kitchen here. Here, I'll even show you all these guys here. There we go. That's uh, that's Bill and Matt, and that is the King of Tahlequah right there. Do you have an actual name, King of Tahlequah? Yeah. Hutchins. Jeff Hutchins. These are the people who have actually made all this possible, and we can't thank them enough because they rock. And uh, all right, plugs aside, can we finally begin our game? Can we finally begin our shenanigans, Justin? Yes, 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 we can. We have two games tonight, people, one of which uh, we started gathering the info for earlier today. In fact, if you want to participate in the games that we play on this show, of course, follow Justin R. Young on Twitter, follow at Schwood on Twitter, and follow at NSFW Show on the Twitter. That's where we kind of put the word out to everybody. <laughs> But well, we're going to be playing Signature BS and also the thing that you can participate if you are watching live right now, which happens at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays on the Twit Network, is Am I a Racist? So yes, this uh, here's is what we need. opportunity we have to consult with our racial liaison, Owen J.J. Stone, as far as I can tell, may be the world's foremost authority on what is and is not racist. So what we want to do is we want to hear situations from your past and have the tribunal declare whether or not you are racist or not. Yeah, so for an example, uh, let's just toss one out right now. Uh, Owen, um, I get nervous when uh, a, a black guy stands behind me in line at the ATM machine late at night. Uh, am I a racist? No, you're not a racist. Ooh. All right, now, uh, I'm not a racist, so I will get the... Would you, would you get the same feeling if it was a large white male standing behind you? You're, you're kind of short. Is he, is, he wearing, is he wearing FUBU? Because, yes, he's, if he's white and wearing <laughs> FUBU, I would... I would uh, if, he, if he's white and wearing FUBU, you shouldn't be scared of him at all because he's a punk, right? <laughs> I, so be more I don't know. I, I don't know. Does that make me... This is not, are you, are you a puss in boots? Oh, doctor, <laughs> this is a uh, 
<laughs> so here's the thing. If you're watching live, go ahead and write true stories of situations where you're maybe not proud of yourselves or maybe throw together some hypotheticals for us. Send them into nsfwshow at gmail.com. And live, the tribunal representing all of, of white people will be Brian Brushwood, representing the all of night. black people will be, yeah, yeah, White Knight will be Brian Brushwood, Black Knight will be <laughs> Owen J.J. Stone, and how do you tie to this, Justin? Well, you know, we have whites and we have blacks, and then since I look like the UN played Ookie Cookie, uh, I <laughs> will represent all other races on the planet. So you uh, are the, I will you just are the be racial. He's, He's a jubilation. He's a jubilation. <laughs> yes, yes. Jews, Asians, Hispanics, Literally bring them on. I'm oh, going to be representing them. Do you know something that's crazy about the census? Mexicans, that? That? Latinos, Puerto Ricans are all underneath the white category now. Well, and what's funny is they, they say it like Hispanic in parentheses. They're like white, you know, because you're, you're pretty much white. Is this right? what they white say? people's well, numbers that, are that, doing so bad they're Irish taking in Italian. Latinos. White people do what about casinos? White, white, white people's numbers are dwindling so bad, they're trying to bring in Latinos to bolster their numbers. Oh, no, definitely. Hey, I mean, this is there's actually like a no BS kind of you know, history of this, because that was Italians and, and Irish did, were, didn't used to be white. And then one day, you know, yeah. the, the commissioner of white people came up to the podium and said <laughs> drafting <laughs> number one white for white people. We need more crackers. We need more crackers. We are accepting all people of light skin tone. Exactly. They held up a, a, a starch collared shirt with the words Irish on the back and they said, you know welcome you, to the white you, people race. You know, it's bad for white America when they've got like booths at the mall. They're like, you know, try whites, you know, <laughs> 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 Why not? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, giggle loop in the chat room is suggesting that I would be the beige knight, which I am not opposed to. So I'll be the beige knight. I, but then we don't get to call you like the, the omniracial liaison or, or the pan. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be the omniracial uh, guide. Okay, um, are we, we already, I, I'm Secrets watching. Secrets or BS, the, uh, dude, it's the... go time. Now, this is different yeah. from previous episodes of Secrets or BS because not unlike certain world champion players of other sports, Justin Robert Young has proven himself so unbeatable at Secrets or BS, he's out. You're out. The commissioner out. of Secrets or BS has yanked you out. You can only be a minister now because uh, you are too good. Right? I am the winner of this lame ass pot. Already. Already. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, folks. Uh, yeah, I will be the one moderating the Secret CBS. We'll be playing Brian against Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, who although, and for people who don't know, uh, Owen, this is his first appearance on NSFW show, but he's been on uh, a billion and a half BB Live shows and and you've called in to NSFW show before, but yeah, I'm this so is not a new thing. Uh, all... Owen JJ Stone has been a friend of, of the show before there even was a show, and he's always been our go-to guy, our racial liaison. And now he gets to. I'm stuff the black later sheep on. of this show, and they are finally let me on. I'm gonna burn this sucker down. Let's start this <laughs> game up. Let's uh, do all this. right, all right, folks. Here's here is how it goes. Uh, secrets or BS. We have people send in either uh, soul-crushing secrets that they wouldn't dare tell anybody because it's so embarrassing or weird, or out-and-out out fibs. Now, this is one of the only games we played a bunch of times on our shows that's gotten better as time has gone on because our audience knows how to lie to us more effectively. So oh, they know uh, this exactly. is exactly, it's, it's almost cheating the way they know little details to tweak and to screw us up. Yeah, all right. Uh, and also, just a real quick uh, backstory, Brian, been the big fat hairy loser every single why time he's played this up? game. What, why is that important to the story? Just a, like, just a stupid, this just dumb Ryan sucks at the game that he helped loser. him loser. 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 Thank you. loser. Like, is chugging a Coleman cooler full of loser. Ew. God, I hate All right. you so much. Uh, here we go. We will start off with a uh, our first story called Popper Popping. That's what I've entitled this little story. Uh, Brian, do, do we uh, want to do an accent or do we want to do one straight? Yeah, no, no. Uh, this one you need to um, you need to read as um, Owen J J Stone, aka O Doctor. Uh, this is okay, right, man. Okay, so I will read this one in my best uh, Owen impression. For those of you who don't yes. know the game, I'm going to read the story, and Owen and Brian have to decide whether it's a secret or a fib told to us by our audience. So here we go. Red as O oh, Doctor, this is Popper Popping. While in Charleston, South Carolina, during the 90s, I met the lead singer of Blues Traveler 
at a mutual friend's outdoor party. A lot party where you park and drink a lot before you hit the beach. He was sweating like a pig and acting like he was the baddest thing since Tupac. Yet I made the mistake of leaning up against the hood of his SUV when he freaked out. It was your basic Nethon Pathfinder, but he acted like it was a freaking Rolls Royce. I told him to chill out, but he was all like, people have no respect, and it pissed me off. Pretty soon we were yelling face to face, you MF'er, I'll F you up. It wasn't until friends broke us up that he reaches under the seat. I figured he was going for a bat or something, but he pulled out a bowl and started smoking some weed. <laughs> Is this? <laughs> Is this, my friends, either secrets or <laughs> BS? I will go to first our guest, Owen J. J. Stone, a.k.a. O. Doctor. Secrets or BS? Talk it through. Well, with the movement of your arms and elbows, it made me feel as though this is BS story. If it wasn't for the weed token, I might have believed it, but it just had too much oomph for my believability skills. All right, so you, you say, say you it say is BS. Uh, Brian, what First do you of all, say? let me just say that that was far and away the finest impression of Foghorn Leghorn I've ever heard. That was amazing, <laughs> Justin. You deserve kudos for no, that. No, this right was actually, I was actually hearkening back to the time when Owen ran a riverboat casino, uh, which a few people know about, <laughs> but I'm sure will be on his Wikipedia page. It, it'll definitely be on my Wikipedia page whenever I get one. Definitely. All right, here's the problem. Here's the problem. I want to say I believe it, but what I'm afraid of is like, oh, no, it's false. It was not the guy from Blues Traveler. It was one of the guys from Hootie and the Blowfish. So there. Or they're going to be like, How no, it wasn't. How dare you Master. speak ill of Darius Master. Rucker? Okay, so I say, I'm going to say it's true. I'm going to say that's my vote for true. All right. Really? So we have we have it we have it going uh, one or the other way. I will single out one of the contestants, and I will start with Brian. Your answer was there's there's a reason why Brian always loses at this game. Yeah. Why? Sorry, folks. It was absolute and total BS. As uh was told to us in the email it is completely fabricated from whole cloth. There oh, we go. God! I'm the worst Already. at this game. Do you know why you always lose, Brian? Why? Because I trust people. I trust because you. Because white people is trust people. Black people don't trust anybody. So <laughs> I have one advantage over you. You being Caucasian in your heart, you want to believe crazy wild fantasy stories like the Hangover <laughs> movie and Hot Tub Time Machine. As a black man, I can't sit there and watch mean, Jason and watch somebody fall and think about running back to save him. I'm not saving nobody. My black ass is gone. But you, you should go back and try to save Missy. Nope. Sorry. She's dead. Jason coming. Oh, I got to go. Next question. All right. All right, folks. Uh, I will start off with the next one. I'll actually read you guys a few of the titles that I gave these stories. And uh, you will choose which one you want to do. We can do Cop Out, Ice Cream Social, or Who's the Boss? Who's the boss? There Who's we the, go. Boss? the boss? Who's the boss? All right. Here we go. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, you, uh, you want to do an like something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to read this question like a six-year-old girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, six-year-old girl. Who's the boss? As a six-year-old girl. At least or I didn't say six-year-old girl. The, the preamble of this, just because I wanted to keep it short, is ass. that uh, the person who wrote in this email, uh, the boss asked him to make his computer work faster. His work computer work faster. That's the preamble. Okay. And now we begin with the story as read like a six-year-old girl. Awesome. There were two other workers in the offices right next to me. The, the way I clean up disk space is by simply manually going through the folders, right-click on them, see what you're too big. I keep going through the folders and I found a large amount of gigabytes coming from a folder C colon slash homework or whatever. And I just want to point out that or whatever was actually in the text. <laughs> <laughs> My first guess is, I don't know, his son downloads a lot of movies? Boy, was I right. I click on one of them and found that they were all hardcore porn. So here I am, and I'm sitting in an office with two workers to the right of me, and my boss in front of me, and I got all this hardcore porn rolling. And my God, I'm glad this thing didn't have an internal speaker. I was backed up against the wall. I closed the porn, looked at my boss, and asked, should I delete all the videos on here? 
He simply answered, yeah, just delete all the videos you find. They take up a lot of space, right? Is oh, so this is the boss. This is the boss's computer said, make my thing faster and found the homework folder. Indeed, just chock full of boobies flapping and penetration. By the way, uh, that, uh, all of a sudden, I just feel like the chat room is going to have a new, you know, whenever somebody is off camera for too long, they're going to accuse them of doing their homework. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling the dice and doing your homework. Hello. Uh, all right. Is this a secret or BS? Brian, you go first. Oh, this is a secret, dude. I mean, it's not much of a secret because my bet is that this guy tells the story the moment he has one minute, the moment he's too deep in nickel beer night. Absolutely true. Secret insofar as it's true, but this guy's not keeping a secret. He's telling everyone to listen. Uh, I'll tell you what, it, it, I agree totally with your logic, but this does seem like a hallmark uh, trap for, you know, laid by our, our, our listeners. Owen, is this secret or BS? Your DTA, um, don't trust anybody. I'm going to tell you a secret real quick. I have a friend, uh, same thing, fixing his computer, and I found male tranny porn. I didn't find one video. I found 13 full-length videos, right? Now, this is a friend of mine, been a friend five, 10 years. Uh, this is the first time I've ever really said it out loud. Hopefully, he doesn't watch the show. But this guy is now married. He just got married. He's with a woman, but he had this porn on his on his computer, and I just didn't know what to do and or say about it. On that experience alone, I'm going to say this is true because that kind of thing does happen. I'm going to go with this. Is now, Owen, I'm not I'm not accusing you of anything here, but you're not the type to just you know pick whatever I pick just so you can maintain your lead, are you? This isn't game theory. This is I just truth. I just shared with you a, a story of me finding some weird porn on someone's computer. Not in a homework folder. It was in a Windows recovery help folder. Um, oh, wow. But I'm going, well. because he was like, oh, there's something on my computer. So I went Windows recovery folder, right? I click on it and popped up all these porn videos. And I'm, hey, I'm a guy, I like porn, right? I click on the porn, next thing I know it's men. And I'm like, oh. I can, I can almost see, I can Whoa. almost see Owen's face like ticka ticka ticka. Oh, hello, yeah. ticka ticka ticka. Oh, yeah. ticka ticka. Yes. Uh, oh, I got upset. And then I had to go check the other videos to me. I was like, oh, maybe he downloaded one bad and then by I had mistake. to go check the other videos. And then I, then and I, I go watched check the other them. Videos I must have watched them 20 times. Sure and they didn't get any small. better. I don't understand. <laughs> I watched them so hard and so much. Yeah. So anyway, I did all the homework I could. And uh, after closing <laughs> the computer and returning it. And look, 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 look. It's a secret. I believe this story. Yeah, I, uh, right. before I render the judgment, since you guys are both on the same page, let me just say this. Uh, a little PSA to everybody. I know we have a lot of younger listeners to this podcast. Uh, let Go ahead and do, do yourself a favor. Make finding that folder like playing through the game missed. Okay? Like, you know, <laughs> just load up everything you can. You know, make it a, a down the rabbit hole. Hide it in every Dude, way you can. How much hey, better would Mist have been if that was the ending? <laughs> if you got if, to the end and you found the uh, the homework folder at the end of Mist. Oh my God! It would have actually made Mist a far better game than it, than it actually was. <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you guys are both on the same side, and here as a judge of secrets or BS. I deem the both of you correct, Mundo. Yes, sir. It's one of the few times I ever get it right, and it's not me just agreeing with with Owen. That was me coming up with the answer all on my own. I'm a big boy well, now. First, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, sir. Do we, do uh, we have time? Like, is this a tiebreaker? Or are we already out of time for secrets or BS? I don't know. We started like what, twenty minutes late. So yeah, yeah. So we better hustle up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Next one. Okay, here we go. Well, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll say we'll say best of five. But we have some short ones up here. So here we go. Okay. This is a Here's very very the, short one. This next one you have to read as the micro machines guy, the guy who read really really fast. Uh okay. All right. Uh, actually, give me another one because this one's like super short, so it'll take like two seconds. Uh, you know what? Maybe that's better because I don't want to. All listen right. Here to we you go. Here we go. Uh, this one is called <laughs> a magical new device. I pass through the basket of my school's internet and sending us on the iPad right now. <laughs> Good job, Brian. Good job. <laughs> Good thing. job. Don't, and don't repeat it, Justin. Don't repeat it. No, no, no. There's no repeating. I'm sorry. When, when I said Micro Machines guy, what I meant was 
Please play. Please say it as a slow motion playback of the Micro Machines guy. I didn't communicate that very effectively. Nope, I apologize. Nope. We're going right off the top of the dome. I'm just going to say true. I don't know I'm what the story is about. It's a, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. All okay. right. Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, to the question I passed through the passcode on my school's internet, and I am sending this on my iPad in school right now. You, Owen J.J. Stone, are Probably correct. Probably would have helped if I had actually oh, heard it. I thought that was the, I was the wrong sound. No, that's right. the right sound. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Here that's, we go. Uh, that's, that's my bad. I should have actually listened to what you said instead of I, blindly. Who could hear what he said? You asked him to shop put it, and he warned you <laughs> that this wasn't the question to do it. He warned you. Ah, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Look, I'm going to get the next, uh, I guess it's three to two. We already have a winner. There's the best three out of five. No, oh, no, no. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. If it's, it's the best yep. three out of uh, three out of five, then uh, ladies and gentlemen, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor. Boo this man. I got my award that? right here. I'm the winner. Oh. this lame podcast game. And it doesn't matter. All right, well, that actually leads us into our next game. Um, I'll tell you what, Brian, uh, really half-hearting this game and not even taking it seriously, so you let an African-American gentleman win. Owen, J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor, is hey, that why, racist? Why does race come into that? Why did you bring up the fact that he's African-American? Brian, Brian. Brian, please. What? Owen, is that racist? It was Brian's shoddy performance racist to you. What? <laughs> what? It, it was what? embarrassment to white people. So I guess that what? was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this come from? There we go. There we go. It's an official stamp. I, I just... God damn, that was racist. I that just was lost racist. the game. <laughs> I ran racist? What was that? That, that was I racist. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Brian. That's the game. That's how we do it here. Okay. Black people aren't slaves um, in America. And and on that note, should we take a moment to thank our sponsors for the end of the show? You very slyly managed to bring up the racism question right before our break where we bring up our sponsors. No, that's the next on. game. We're leading it. No, no, listen. And honestly, I will say this without, without irony. We we're trying to do, if there's anything that we at NSFW show do, is we try to bring better understanding about the universe around us to our listeners. And part of that is your complete and unfettered racism, Brian. <laughs> so, <laughs> Come on, Justin, what the hell is that? <laughs> That off instead of cry about it. Laughing it off makes it, makes us know that he's insane when he says things like that. That's, see, okay, that's the okay, proper look, way to get uh, out of racism. You, you and and your 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 non racismness. You introduce our our sponsor, Justin, sir. All right, uh, folks. If you've listened to the show before, then you know just how much we love Audible.com. All right, you know we you could go ahead and read idiot stupid books with your dumb retarded eyes or you can go the wave of the future my friends and put little tiny robots in your ears who sing to you the books that you know you love and will enrich your life it's called audible people they have uh, you know over a billion books uh you know and it's growing every every single day these are all facts they have a billion books it's books a that billion. haven't been written a billion it's no, you're right. They a do trillion a books, books a have been uh, archived at audible.com. Uh, here's what I want you to do. Go ahead over to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW, and they're going to give you a free book. Man, you're the, you're the paying nothing. They're going to give you one for free, okay? And, you and know uh, I'll guarantee you, uh, 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 I'm, I'm a subscriber. Be, Brian's a subscriber. Uh, Owen, are you a subscriber? Yes, I am, actually. I subscribed uh, a few weeks ago, Brian made a, a, a very beautiful uh, 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 pitch for Audible, and uh, I signed up. What uh, uh, what book did you download? What, what book are you reading I, right I now? I haven't on? downloaded a book yet, to be honest with you, because I'm going to put something on my iPad, and I haven't done that yet. So See, give me something right to download attitude, right now, and I'll do it. Sign up first, make decisions later. All you have to do to sign up is head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW, and you can get your free book. I'm going to make my pick. 
My pick is Anything by Robert A. Heinlein. I'm on a classic old school science fiction uh, quest right now. And everything Robert A. Heinlein wrote back in the day, it's a little bit dated. And, you, you know, there's references to the damn dirty communists and stuff. But it's amazing how ahead of the game he was in science fiction. Uh, in fact, right now I'm reading Double Star, which is about, it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of like the movie Dave, but on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> where where the the leader of like the intergalactic leader is uh, kidnapped and they need to hire an actor to step into his shoes. It's really good. Uh, although I also really really loved uh, there's there's another book called Variable Star that was actually written after Robert A. Heinlein's death, but based on his notes. And it's really fascinating to have kind of an old school story Robert A. Heinlein style, but to have modern references to Google and The Simpsons in it because it was written like 20 or 30 years after his death. So my pick is anything by Robert A. Heinlein, either a, especially either Double Star or Variable Star. I love both of those. Robert you, A. Justin? Heinlein, that's, that's the first one I'll go get then. Yes, awesome. well, and of course, the word Heinlein, Heinlein's most famous book is a Stranger in a Strange Island, which I have listened to on Audible, and I can vouch for uh, how well it's done. It is, it is fantastic. So uh, certainly pick that up. I'm gonna go, uh, I have two picks. Uh, one or both are just hilarious. Uh, one of them is uh, that Mitchell and Webb sound. If you've never heard of Mitchell and Webb, they're a comedic duo out of uh, the UK. They did a radio series for the BBC. And I'll show you the versatility of Audible, folks. It's not just books. They have uh, these like awesome radio plays. And uh, Mitchell and Webb, that Mitchell and Webb sound is one of them. Uh, it is so, so, so worth it. They are uh, maybe the funniest thing going in sketch comedy today. So pick that up. Uh, and also, my other, my bookend of, uh, of of comedy is uh, the Looming Tower, which is uh, if you if you ever want to read about how 9/11 came to be, uh, you know, pick that up. It is the definitive book on on 9/11. You, you said you said that's your bookend to comedy. Oh, oh, you mean like that's when the comedy end is when is when yes, you read. There we the go. Looming there Tower. we go. The end of the bookends is the right. Looming so Tower. In other words, which is if you're smiling too much, make sure to yes. read the Looming Tower right after you finish Schindler's List. Absolutely, but uh, if you are if you're in the nonfiction, uh, it is it hits all the bases that you want in nonfiction, which is it's about an extremely relevant topic, which you already know half the story to, if not more, especially with 9/11 since it was such a gigantic deal, and the reporting is just impeccable. Uh, what, what's so, the big so deal? pick it up. 9/11 that was that was a big deal. That's okay. Interesting. Yeah, I really... uh, I, you know, apparently it was on it was on CNN a lot, so it was like that and Natalie Holloway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saw it made the onion once, as we told Baratunde to his face. Uh, exactly. <laughs> all right. So, uh, by the way, uh, as always, we are happy to bribe you if you sign up at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Take a screen capture of you signing up using our URL, and I will bribe you by sending you a copy of my book, Cheats, Con, Swindles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink, absolutely free. Just write us at NSFWshow at gmail.com. Can we finally get on to the real game where I can prove that I'm not a racist? Of course, of course, Brian. This is what we like to call Am I a Racist? Thank God we've finally gotten Owen on the podcast so we can uh, answer the questions of um, this podcast listening audience, which is, of course, code word for white people. That's so right. uh, we're we going to. Three uh, pillars of awesome. Their decisions are final, they are the final arbiter of their races. We have the vanilla knight, the chocolate knight, and the caramel knight, right? That's what we decided, <laughs> those three. There we go. There we go. And together, we're going to join a swirl of racial <laughs> harmony and answer the questions that we've all wanted. Uh, awesome. All right, here we go. This first one comes in from William. William writes us, some white guys like Asian women, are they racists? Uh, let's start with the chocolate knight. Black knight. No, they are not racist. Everybody loves Asian women. They're very subservient. I told you I came on this show to burn this sucker down. You kept me off too long. You kept the black sheep in the closet player. I came to burn it down. Now you like answer the question. You sell on this show. You're well behaved like 35 minutes in, and then you just pull the cord and self self destruct all over us. That's what I do. I gain your trust, and then I drop bombs. <laughs> okay, so you say it's uh, not racist because they're subservient. Uh, Caramel Knight, what do you say? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, they are. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this particular brand of racism. Not all racism is as potent and awful 
as uh, the one that, uh, you know, affects the uh, our society is such a corrosive element. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to say racism on this. So you're the tiebreaker, Brian. Uh, you know what? Actually, <clears throat> representing all of, uh, of, of uh, not just white, white America, people. but all of white people in general, all yes. of Europe. There it's we a go. big burden I have on my shoulders. I'm going to say good racism. There is such a thing as good racism. Saying, wow, I really like this aspect of these women is, is, is good racist. Get, well, there I we go, go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Brian did says, uh, uh, speaking for all of white people, racism no. is good. And this and guy my, is a no, good no, racist. Can I, can I take that back? Can I take that back? I, 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 don't, I, I think I might have been misconstrued. Um, no, like, no, no, no. Mm. Make sure everybody doesn't add that to Brian's uh, Wikipedia page. <laughs> no, Moving no, on. No, no. Nelson. Uh, Nelson wrote us. Uh, I'm a Mexican. And you don't have you don't have a uh, final thing for for like you know uh, the no, final. I did, I did, but yes, you were too busy racist. groveling to hear it. Uh, here we go. This is the racism. Uh, we are stamping it officially racist. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> there it is. Okay, done. Uh, there we go. Okay, uh, Nelson writes. I'm a Mexican, and I get nervous when other Mexicans stand behind me at the ATM. Uh, we'll start with uh, Owen. Is he no, a racist? That's the beige omnivore question, so it goes to the beige omnivore. Beige omnivore, what, you tell us, is that racist? Uh, no, you can be as racist as you want to your own race. There is, you, you, you have an unlimited bandwidth on racism inside your own race, so I deem it not racist. I, okay, Owen? Of course that's racist. How can you be racist? People yeah. can be racist against their own people. That's just racist. No, doesn't count. Like doesn't racist. count. That's not read, the, not read racist. the laws, Owen. Read the, the laws. laws. I'm it black. doesn't count black against your own race. Are, black people are racist against black people more than white people are racist against black people. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Look, I saw that Dave Chappelle sketch with the blind guy joining the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, that Wait. guy, that's racist, dude. Have you no, it's racist. Black people are racist against black people. But it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it still counts. counts. You can't just generalize all black people. That's a little bit racist right there. All right. So if we can back it up at the issue at all hand. All black people Mexicans are racist against certain kinds of black people. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Are ignorant black people are racist against smart black people. They call them Uncle Toms. Smart black people are ignorant against a uh, thuggish uh, black people. They call them uh, Nick, uh, N words and, and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So don't tell me about black people. I will smack the taste out your mouth, vanilla right, chocolate. No, no, by the way, by the way, you get bonus points. Even though you have executive privilege to use the N-word, you refrained against doing it out of deference to the show, and I appreciate that. But regardless, you and I are on the same page. Me. I got this to go guy, to Twit this weekend. I don't want to hear it. But this guy is racist, though. The guy who's afraid of, of, of Mexicans, right? He's racist. Follow yeah. me. Right. Deny. So you're, you 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 are you are you're the tiebreaker again, Brian. Uh, oh no, yeah, do I totally agree? It's racist. Bad racist. racist. All right. This too. Bad this racist. is the bad Sorry. racism. This is bad racism. All right. Well, again, folks. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right Next. along. Bring it. John. John writes us. An angered Asian shopper was giving me lip, so I told him, calm down, round eye, and the confusion of my backward slur wiped away his rage. Is he a racist? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the guy who was upset was not Asian. No, 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 no. The guy who was upset was Asian, and John, <laughs> he called the wrong, John the wrong not, race. So he gave him, he gave him, like, it would be as if a black guy was upset, and... Uh, I said, hey, honky, slow your roll. Like, and then he was like, whoa, <laughs> I don't get that. And his brain short-circuited. So that's what he's saying. Owen, you want to take this one first? Uh, I don't know what you just said, really, but that just sounds racist. <laughs> hey, hold on. No, 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 that's ridiculous. He, he used racial constructs to short-circuit this guy's brain. The, he was, the guy he was yelling at was Asian, and he called him a non-Asian slur. But specifically, the brilliance to it was he used it as a, a slur that Asians use toward white people. He was just but throwing is, that slur right back great. at his face. I actually think this could cure all of racism if more people did this. This is like, uh, this. I mean, imagine no, a world. No, no, black, no, because if what? you stood in the middle of the street and called another white person the N-word, and there happens to be a black person at the end of that street, you are going to get 
effed up. No, 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 no. It would be black people calling white people the N word. Yeah, you can't call. You, yeah, but exactly. You, but a white guy could call an Asian guy that by your logic because they're not that race. No, 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 no. It's got it's got to match up like dominoes. It's got to match up like dominoes. So, like you can call me the N word and I can I can call you honky. No, because some white guy's gonna get shot. A black guy's gonna say N word to you, and white guy's gonna say I'm not that, yo. That's you, and then the black guy beats him off. That's not how white people talk. Wait, did you say the black guy beats him off? Is that what you just said? Uh, is this, is this a study group? Are they doing him. homework together? Because you say the N word back to him. Look, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, this is how, this is how we bring love to the world. Is is let's 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 mix up the words. Let's let's get rid of some of that hate. I'm gonna say, in a in a in a breaking the pattern of white guilt, this is going to be my first not racist call. Is if you use like if you pretend it's racism opposite day, all of world all of the world would be a happier place. Eight, right. uh, Pro racism opposite day is what I am. It's still a uh, slur, even if it's backwards. It's still indigenous and ignorant. Well, he's calling himself. He's calling the other guy round eye. See, that's why I can't talk. Uh, listen, to you. hey, Owen, Owen, I'm gonna go ahead and overrule you. I say it's not racist. Brian says it's not racist. So officially, we are stamping this one. I didn't know I couldn't do that. Not racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm happy for you too. Well, dude, I'm yeah, well, it's all of the world now. We just proclaimed it. We just oh, I mean, you we, saved the, the world. The tribunal has okay. spoken. The first person to get shot. Voice. I'm gonna have I'm gonna wow, have a sign at your doorstep. I'm just reading all of these emails. They are all about Asians. Why are Asians the only thing that we can talk about? Dude, in terms Asians of are the in race of the 21st century. And when I say in race, I mean I in, not in dash race, because that <laughs> can be construed as some kind of racist comment. What I'm saying is that the 21st century belongs to Asians. They're going to be the most popular race of the 21st century. The, throughout the world and history, uh, I think Asians have always run stuff. They gave us like, Dynamite. I think they're like the original people that like gave you pizza. Um, they they make everything we own. <laughs> I mean, my my socks and shoes are made in Asia. Like the computers, they run everything. Everything should be you about Asia. Pandas. Uh, we got pandas. Yeah. They eat oh, yeah. Bamboo, other bamboo. other notable uh, inventions: General Tso's chicken, kung uh, fu, broccoli. Actually, um, actually just General Tso's chicken is a, is a Western invention. That that didn't actually this actually happen. General Tso's she- chicken. That's you got to watch the, uh, the uh, airplane the speech. Brian, uh, lasers. So smart all the time. Brian. Tentacle porn. Um, Octopus. All right, can we get back? Can we get back to, to solving <laughs> the world of racism? We're so close to fixing this for everyone. Here Once we go. All, Here we are. Right, right. uh, in Chinese class, a lady brought in a bunch of necklaces with words like beautiful and awesome personality printed on them, and said we could all have one. While we're all looking over them, uh, my only friend in class, a Vietnamese guy, comes up and starts looking. Me trying to be funny and going for a gay joke, hand him one and say that it fits him. It reads, pretty eyes. Everyone who was around it kind of ignored it, and the kid put it down. A minute later, I handed it back to him and said, I want you to have this one. Everyone then kind of looked at me, and my friend said, dude, no. He ended up walking away, and finally another kid looked at me and said, dude, he's Asian. That's when I understood my mistake. Now, everyone in class thinks I'm a racist. Is he indeed? This is, by the way, Russ. I know is this Russ one. I know this one. I know this one. <clears throat> this one is BS. This did not happen. This is this is the lie they made up to. Oh, we're not playing that game. This anymore. isn't that game. <laughs> uh, by the way, if there's anyone who can empathize with this kind of thing, it's me. And I I want to say I mean, it's not, certainly not racism on the part of the person who picked the the necklace. Unintentional racism is not racism at all. It's all about the intention. So I'm going to say it's not racist on them, but it is racist of everyone else to interpret it that way. Why'd they have to go there? Wow. Well, how, how crazy for uh, Brian to stick up for the white guy and blame all the Asians in the class. That's oh shocking. Oh, my God, Justin. Owen, you did not Owen, just Owen, do J. that. J. Stone, no, go ahead. Not, not, that. Not, only, not only, unfortunately, Brian is almost correct, but the fact that the person started out the story with they were going for the gay joke makes them a homo racist. So I'm okay. going with the double conundrum of, just because of the fact that you tried to do something negative and something negative came about you, you are a homo racist. And that <laughs> is racism. It's, there's homo no racism. race of homosexuals. Ryan, don't say anything you because you'll get in trouble. That's a whole different I, I category. I stamped this 
And now we have to just wait on Justin. And Brian, anything you say will be held against you in the court of the internet. Oh, come on, listen. Don't think wait, we're not uh, recording. Chocolate Knight does Don't not Ryan, vanilla Knight. Respect, respect this court. <laughs> Justin, right. what do you uh, say? Here we go. As the tiebreaker, let me just say that uh, there, there is such a thing as accidentally hitting racism. No, All right? no. There is There's such no a thing as accidentally hitting racism. Yes. However, however, I do not believe that there was any intent behind this racism. And to be fair, this was a pretty chintzy uh, a signing. There's a lot of reading into saying, hey, you know, he has pretty eyes. And then being like, no, his eyes are different than your eyes. So you're being racist. That's a long so way to So you're just completely ignoring the fact that the person started off trying to make a gay joke. So a person that makes gay jokes this wouldn't make racist jokes. This is not am I a homophobe, You wouldn't think Owen. a person would make gay jokes would be a racist yes. joke. Yes. I'm just putting the homo racism together in a ball of homo racism. And if you two no. can't support me, then this I will have the all the people who have been This is not Panda Express. You cannot pick two. You cannot pick racism and homophobia. I will stand alone as the black and who cares about homosexuals and people who have been beaten down by racism. Go ahead. Go ahead, you two. Go ahead, Carmel and Vanilla. Hey, Go ahead. hold on. Listen, Both listen, listen. Ladies, listen. Ladies, listen. ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially, as tiebreaker, certify this one. I didn't know I couldn't do that. Not racist. Oh, yeah. See, look, I may suck at secrets or BS, but I'm kicking your ass, Owen, at am I racist? <laughs> so hey, when it comes to let's, racism, let's go, let's go to a gay one. club and see whose ass guy. gets kicked after they this watch this guy, video. Right I guarantee here. you, my black ass is walking out on head and shoulders, and you're gonna be left in somebody's toilet seat. Let, let's go test that right now. The, the, the right, internet so is with me. Uh, just, just, just to wrong. recap. Owen's talked about how much of his friend's tranny porn he looked at, and how popular he'd be at the gay club. Should we all go? <laughs> By the way, the chat room was correcting us. Uh, it was not racist to try to make fun of the fact, you know, do a gay joke. It's gaysist, which is a totally different thing. <laughs> gaysist, that's an even better word. That's, <laughs> it that's what it was. It yeah. was gaysist. Can we, dro can we drop homophobe? Can we start a campaign right now to, to kill homophobic? Because first of all, too many syllables. I can't even remember them all. And second of all, it doesn't cut to the heart of the homophobic. It sounds like a medical condition. But gaysist? You, you just, You're a you bad just, man, dude. Don't bring that gaysism in here. Can, can we like own the word gaysism and try to put it out there? You, you know what makes me angry about the word gay in general? Like the other day I was gonna say, that's so gay. And then you can't say it, but I'm like, gay means happy. So why can I say that's so gay? Like some, some not, fluffy not happy when I say it. stuff, you can't say it. Not when you not say when it. you say it because you're a bad oh, man. I say it, no. God, did that mean happy? Uh, Next up, all right, here we go. Uh, week, this one, it's I'm actually. Am I racist? Now it's am I racist? Let's go. Yeah, uh, this one, uh, I'm just going to say consider this one an alley oop because I think this is going to be a pretty big slam dunk. Uh, this one comes in uh, from Trent. I'd also like to remind everybody before I read this that the NSFW is an educational program in which we look to bring a broader understanding to the world in which we live in. Trent oh writes, my God! Don't don't read it! Don't read it! Just hearing that warning. You never give warnings, Justin. You never ever give warnings for anything. And if you're giving it a warning, I am not comfortable with it. Whatever it is you're about to say. You. Uh... All right. Let me read it as a euphemism. Then, let me let okay. me read it as as a Candyland. I'm gonna use Candyland as a euphemism. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's my, about candy. My friend and I were trying to think of a new Wii video game that doesn't suck. We thought of an MMORPG where you'd get gumdrops and use licorice whips on them using the Wii mode. <laughs> it would be even better if you could have the Wii Motion Plus for better accuracy. The more... Uh, <laughs> this is the most. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Is this Hold a on, white thing? Because I don't understand anything he's saying. I, the more I just cotton heard... candy they picked, the higher score you would get. Am I a racist? Wait, I don't understand. Could you just read it the way it's supposed to be read? I, I don't understand the Candyland word play. Don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. Right, yeah. don't read it. I'm, time, I'm, I'm for as okay, African American so, uh, male for me to have the proper RPG response to this. I need to hear the proper email. An, right, an, well, an MMORPG where you'd buy pieces of black licorice and hit them with licorice whips. <laughs> and to right, see so how so much essentially, cotton oh, oh, candy this they This is an pick. MMO that would transport you back to the golden days of 1842, uh, back before 
you know, that Abraham Lincoln made a mess of everything. Oh, Brian, and Brian, 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 why what? no? What? Why you're sailing on a boat, on a boat made of dreams, and you decided to cut a hole in it in the middle oh, of our, we chalked the wagon, That's clearly what they're baby. saying. That's clearly what they're saying is, is this is racist. It's totally racist. I and know, I'm not okay. but you don't need I'm to say it. I'm insulted that you even let this on the program. How did I, I thought How of the brilliant that? Candyland illusion, and then you just, you just bail out on it. Oh, because nobody knew. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, this is racist against gumdrops. Yes. How about that? Okay, it's racist. It's racist. Racist. Owen, this can is we not. Put racist. this one in bed, Owen. This is not racist. More people oh, need to learn their racist. history. They should have this what game, and so kids can no, learn about how not. America was built just... on the truth, so that we do not hide what has gone not on racist. in America. And at the end. What should happen is that the white slave owner gets zapped with lightning or something useful. But I do so believe that this could be an educational game. And you, since the fact okay? of the matter that you two have both gone against me and my and my gayism, I can only do what I have to do right here, right now, as the black sheep of the okay show. This is not where racist. You played a white slave owner in the in the eighteen hundreds. Are you serious? I, I would love to be a white slave owner in the eighteen hundreds. I would get myself <laughs> killed over and over again by the black slaves. Boy, quote, if I was the white guy whipping right people, I'd let my people fall and I'd right let the now. slaves come and kill right me, now. and I'd laugh watching the white slave owner get killed. I would love watching that game, having white people just mess up and get overrun by the slaves. That would be a great game to me. I'm just oh saying. Oh my God. Oh, doctor, you're killing me. So uh, so on his tombstone, I want. I would love to be a white slave owner on O Doctor's tombstone when he finally croaks. Hey, hey it would be better than being the slave, playo. <laughs> if I had a choice, <laughs> if I had a choice, put me on the other end of the stick, homie. I'm just saying. Back in the day, they didn't have no choice. I'm, I, that's all I know. <laughs> Touche, sir. Well played. Justin, okay, so, uh, well, um, I, I still think that this is two to one. I'm not swayed. Are you, Brian? Well, well oh, oh, no, I'm not swayed, but I just I just want to write down in the final decision who had the opposing view uh, on this one. That was O Doctor saying this wasn't racist. Hey, there's uh, good racism yeah. and there's bad racism. And you know what? And this is well, bad racism. That is a liar. This is regular <laughs> old racism. How is uh, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and certify this one by way of a two to one vote. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. Racist. <laughs> Racism wins. Continue. All right, next believe, one. What do you got? I can't what's going on. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, this one comes uh, from a hot clue. Hot clue, right? I work at a hotel when Asians and African Americans want to want to rent a room. I tend to quote lower rates, uh, whereas if they're white. I quote higher rates, so a little, uh, a little uh, social, uh, social uh, engineer. Uh, real quick, uh, point of order. Uh, what race is Hawklu? And 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 interesting question. Should That's that a dumb matter? Question. His name is Hawklu. Of course, he's an Arabian knight. You think so? I don't Hawk think so. No, Hawk I think he's a white Hawk? guy. Hawk, uh, uh, a white guy named Hawklu. I'm going Arabian knight, or he's like. Uh, uh, I know Russian. he's in the chat room. So yeah, Hawk Japanese in the American. Chat room, so sure he's Japanese. He's an Asian guy. Oh, he's Hawks Japanese dude. American. Hawks. He's Japanese Hawks. American. Okay. He's Asian. Hawks. What did I say? Who did I say would be the number one race Hawks. of the twenty first century? Hawk Lou. You need to pronounce your words better. Hawk Lou. There you Hawks. go. I said Hawk Lou. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. He happens to be Asian and he no, gets he is Asian. He, he looks he's out for his Asian. own and gives him the old Asian discount for, for him sure and, that and the black. Is this racist? But I'm pretty sure this is the dictionary definition of racism. <laughs> when you take sure. care this of is... your own and give them a lower rate over other races, I'm pretty sure that's racist. Hold on, let me this fix is... this. That's racist. racist. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I hear. Uh, also, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and agree with Brian. This is the legal definition of racism. It's legally not allowed to do this kind of uh, price fixing based on race. Uh, Owen, you can only offer a dissenting opinion or you can make this one unanimous. Where are you at? Um, I'd like to let everyone of all races in the chat room know that there's something called the hookup. Okay, white people usually get the hookup if you're in the mafia. They call it falling off the truck. Uh, as one uh, ethnic man to another ethnic man, he says, you know what? The white man has been screwing us for a long time. Let me give you a discount. And white man, you will get screwed with the higher price. 
Booyah Kasha. That is the way it goes. That is the way the world works. And that You're is the world that I live in. You're saying this is doesn't make it not this racist, This is though. good racism. This is the racism as the way it should be. White people should be charged more for the penalties of their past crimes. Oh Anyone of ethnicity God. should get a discount. Dude. That's the brother no, hookup. Hawk Lou, stop. thank you, my Asian half-white brother, going against your white side and sticking with the color. I love you. Mm -hmm. Not racist. Oh Burn this oh, motherfucker no, no, down. No, no, no. You said it was Pour racist. Gasoline you said it was on it. Good racism. You said it was good racism, it. but you said but it's it was not racist. racism. The more I talk to myself, the more I convince myself that that ain't racist. That's just right. No, come on, dude. You're doing a bit. You're doing a bit. <laughs> Tell me you're not for reals about this. Hey. Tell me you're not hey, for real. Hey, hey. White people get charged more because apparently they got more money and, and ethnic people need to hook up every now and then. That's just oh, the way it works. Oh, you're killing me. Chat room is turning against you, oh doctor. What? I'm a racist? Right. Yep. Right, and look, by the way, I, by a way of a two to one vote, I'm going to make this one. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> racist. I'm so glad we're not keeping score on this because I'd be like, I'd be like negative 82. Brian would actually win something for once. Yeah, you, you. Let me tell you something. I'm good at doing votes that make me the winner. That's that's. I'm awesome at that. That's definitely <laughs> what you do. Figuring out secrets or BS, I'm terrible at. Oh, I right, here we go. We have, uh, we have one, you guys are racist. one more in here. So this will be the grand finale. For this will be the tiebreaker between racism and non-racism. <laughs> We're gonna see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> One day at work, think corporate offices, I high five my coworker, uh, who he and I are always joking about how freaking white we are. Well, in this case, we go high five and my brain shuts off. So instead of saying, yeah, white high five, woo, because I really mean that this was one of the whitest high fives out there. Hips were thrown into hitting our hands, which both were out at a 90 degree angle to our arms. It came out as, yeah, white people power. Our hands collide as the P in power comes out. M I A racist. This comes from Emery. I am staunchly against the proposition of unintentional racism. Clearly, there's no hate in this man's heart, and I deem him not racist. Not, 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 not racist. <laughs> Owen, go ahead. Subconsciously, so anytime you say white power, you're racist. <laughs> Says the man who just justified the the hookup. Okay, all right. It's up to it's Brian. up to the Carmel Knight. Carmel Knight, what's it gonna be? Go beigey. Uh, for the fact that you just called me beigey, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is racist. There you go, boy. Subconsciously, subconsciously, racist. Subconsciously, racist. Brian Brushwood. That's what you get. What do you Supreme think? Court? We're all just running around. What do you mean, those beige people, Brian? You know, <laughs> come on. You know, I his thought, we were, Carl, uh, I thought at least you saw me as you an equal, Brian, not just by my beige skin. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if uh, um, if this happens on the Supreme Court, like somebody somebody accidentally, like you know farts next to Sandra Day O'Connor and all of a sudden guns are illegal in DC. Like, I mean, it's like, I wonder if this kind of infighting, this tit for tat actually happens. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, well, there we go. I think we all, we solved a lot of problems here tonight. Brian, Owen? <laughs> yeah, I think we sure uh, solved a lot of problems. Uh, maybe created some as well, now that I think about it and realize how many people this is gonna go out to and what quotes might be taken out of context. Uh, but all in all, I think we did a good thing towards promoting racial healing. I think we, in fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we pretty much fixed the race problem tonight. I mean, I, unless anyone wants to disagree with that. What did yeah, that guy on the news say that we we're post-racial America and then every black person in America said, are you crazy? <laughs> I forget what guy said that on the news. Now that Obama's president, we're post-racial America. <laughs> when the chat room is, uh, is being not so nice, shouting some racial racial slurs at, at yours truly at, at the white knight. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. And and I think we we do maybe maybe you can make the argument that we live in a post racial world, but uh, there's no denying that we now have entered a very staunchly gayist world. Yes, uh, we are now, yes. yes. I, I am I am the leader of, of gayist movement. I'm going to start a website. I'm sure nobody owns that. Don't anyone in the room buy it. Uh, I, I need help. I need support. I'm going to raise a nation and an army. 
All right, let's Don't. let's wrap things up there. First and foremost, I want to thank the people who made literally this episode possible. And I am aware that I use the word literally way too much, but I got to thank uh, the king of uh, wait, 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 wait. What's the name of this town? Tahlequah, the, t- Tahlequah. the king of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. <laughs> who who led us into his home. Thank you guys so much. And real quick, let me, let me turn it and point it at you guys. These guys are the ones who made it all possible. We'll wait for the pixelization to go away. These guys right here, right here in their kitchen, hooked us up. <clears throat> Can't thank you enough. Uh, until next time, I'm at Schwood. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. New Scam School episode coming out this Thursday. Kick ass. I'm going to do a trick for you in real time. What do you got to plug, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Uh, weirdthings.com, weirdthings.com, weirdthings.com. I am writing there every single day, along with the man who's been carrying the, uh, the steam for so long, Matthew Finley. Uh, we, we are doing a great, great, great job. And, um, uh, you know, we're working on, uh, I know we haven't had a podcast in a little bit. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get one out sooner rather than later. And I will say, I don't want to say too much about it, but, uh, we are, we are trying our best to expand what weird things is on a couple of very exciting fronts. So just uh, keep an eye on the site for that and follow Weird Things Com on Twitter along with Justin R. Young. What about you, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O-Doctor? What you got to plug? I'd like to thank you both for letting me come on the show and be a guest after so long. I'm so thankful to be here. I hope I didn't cause too many problems. I'd like everybody to go to odoctor.com. That's O H D O C. T-A-H.com. And then you can check out my interviews. I do a live show doing one tomorrow night, every Wednesday at 9 EST. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you again for having me on NSFW. I'm so proud and honored and happy to be here. Please don't put me back in the closet, Brian. Please, Lord, don't. I love you. <laughs> the chat room. The chat room can't decide if that kind of talk is, is gaysist or racist, so they've dubbed it <laughs> racist, which is both of the above. Congratulations, the, Owen. The gray zone. Right, guys. I'm in the gray zone. Uh, that is it for uh, this uh, this episode of NSFW. Join us next Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what even know what to unplug. I guess that's it for this episode. See you next Tuesday. That's how we roll on the new NSF dubs. Um, okay, so and then by the way, did you wear the Dolphins jersey on purpose, or is that just serendipity? I wore it on purpose. I have a awesome. whole bag of jerseys I could have wore. Obviously, I wore it on purpose. <laughs> I have a plethora of jerseys.